it's time for a good old-fashioned shootout. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back, guys. Today, I want to take a look at three different solar panels. The top solar panel, the gigapart solar panel, and the power film solar panel. Now, all of these will be the 60-watt variety as we walk through these tests. On the screen now, we've got both the dimensions and the weights for each of the three panels. Uh, all of those dimensions are in inches. You'll see that the top solar panel is the smallest, but it's also the heaviest. The power film will be the lightest of the bunch, with the Gigaparts panel weighing roughly one pound more than the power film panel. Now we'll be testing these both under full cloud conditions and full sun conditions, but before we jump to that part of the testing, I do want to give a shout out to Gigaparts. A big thanks to them for sending these panels over to me for review. I've got to send them back when I'm done, but it's really awesome that they're willing to send out these products and give us a chance to check them out. All right, let's head outside and check out some of these results. And then we'll come back and tie all of this together for you guys. All right, so for this first test here, we are under completely cloudy conditions. I've got the top solar solar panel on this side, and I've got the gigaparts panel on this side. Both of these are 60 watt panels, so it should be an apples to apples comparison. Let's take a look at the top solar panel first, and you'll see that it's putting out roughly 0.25 amps. Now, one other test that I like to do is I like to put my hand in front of the panel and see what that drops to. And you'll see with the top solar panel, it drops to only 0.1 amps. So quite a reduction when we partially shade this. And I think you're going to see a bigger difference when we do the same test under full sun. Taking a look at the Gigaparts panel now, we're getting almost 0.4 amps under these uh, cloudy conditions. Now, again, let's go ahead and put my hand over that panel and let's see where that drops to. And you'll see that that's dropped down to 0.25 amps. So again, we're losing power with both of these panels, but this panel over here seems to be losing more. Now, again, when I do this under full sun, it's going to be a lot more interesting. Next, I wanna connect up the uh, power film 60 watt panel and take a look at it under these same conditions. Okay, for this next round of testing, I've got the power film directly in front of me. Because it is so large, I had to move the Gigaparts panel just off the camera over here, but I do still have it hanging in the same orientation, so we shouldn't get any differences. Just moved it over just a little bit. Let's take a look at the Gigaparts numbers first, and we're getting 0.38 amps. Let's go ahead and real quick, before any of the conditions change, move that over to the power film panel and you'll see we're getting 0.34 amps out of the power film panel. Now, just like before, I'm going to reach over and put my hand over one of those panels and just take a look, and you'll notice that the power film panel doesn't drop at all. Again, this is under completely cloudy conditions. Stick around for a second, and we'll do the same test again under full sun. So a little bit of a twist as we start into this sunny day portion testing. I can't get any power out of this top solar panel this morning. The lights are on, but just no output power is coming out of it. So I've substituted this model here, which is the one that is previous to this one. And I don't think either one of these are actually still available for sale on Amazon. If by chance they are, I'll leave a link down in the description below, but I don't think they are. I have checked both of these panels, comparing them against one another in the past, and they are near identical. So this one will have to stand in for a good substitute today. Now, just like the previous test, we've got the top solar panel on this side, the Gigaparts panel on this side. We do have full sun conditions, although the sun is coming in at about a 45 degree angle to the panel. So they might get a little bit higher output if we had, uh, you know, 90 degree sun directly on the panels. But it is what it is for this test because clouds are rolling back in later today. First thing I want to do is take a look at the output from the top solar solar panel. And you'll see that that one's putting out, what is that, about one amp, just over one amp. Now, if I lay my hand over that panel, just like we've done before to kind of simulate that partial shade, we drop down to around 0.4 amps for the output. So now let's take a look at the Gigaparts panel. 
and that gigaparts panel is putting out about 1.8 amps of power I believe that, yeah, 1.8 amps of power. Now, again, just like with the other one, I want to reach over, put my hand over that panel, and take a look at it, and you'll see that it dropped to roughly 1 amp. So even with partial shade, the Gigaparts panel is putting out as much power as the top solar panel is when it has no shade. So that's a big advantage to the Gigaparts panel. Next, let's test the power film panel. Now, just like before, I've got the power film panel here. The Gigaparts panel is just out of the camera's view on this side. The numbers for the power film panel is 1.49 amps. Now, let's go ahead and put one hand over that power film panel, and you can see that basically it doesn't drop. What happens if I put two hands over the panel? And just to make sure nothing changed, let's hook that Gigaparts panel up one more time, and you'll see that I'm getting about 1.8 amps out of the Gigaparts panel. All right, now that you've seen those numbers firsthand, let's break everything down in a couple of charts. Now, these will be focused on the full sun conditions, and I'm going to throw out that top solar panel results. I don't like the fact that I had a failure during the testing, and once I saw these results, when it's partially shaded, the losses, in my opinion, are just too great. First up, we have the power film panel, again, under full sun conditions. The full output of that panel was 1.49 amps. When I covered that panel with both hands to simulate a partially shaded condition, it only dropped to 1.36 amps. And that's roughly an 8.5% loss when partially shaded. Now, let's contrast that to the Gigaparts panel. Full power out on it was 1.85 amps. When I covered the Gigaparts panel with one hand, it dropped to 1.08 amps, which is roughly a 41% loss. However, keep in mind, it's putting out 20% more when it's not shaded than the power film panel. So where does that leave us? Well, in the weight category, power film wins, hands down. It's a full pound lighter than that Gigaparts panel. And when it comes to the loss of the panel being partially shaded, again, power film comes out on top. However, with neither panel having any shade on them, full sun on both panels, the Gigaparts panel is the winner, putting out a full 20% more than the power film panel. And finally, the cost. It's hard for me to swallow $900 for a power film panel. That Gigaparts panel, at least as of the time of this recording, comes in at $200. Bucks. So considering all of the information that I've gathered during the filming of this video, well, I might not send that uh, Gigaparts panel back to them. I might just let them send me a bill for that one. Because that $200 price point doesn't seem too unreasonable considering the specs and the performance of that panel. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.